Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a two column lookup with Power Query. Now what does that mean? Basically what we want to do is when we make a selection for Forex Explorer, we want to get back the quantity from this table. Now this is a small table, it's just an example. And there's actually multiple ways we can do this. Outside of Power Query, you can actually concatenate these two and do a lookup to find out uh, what Forex Explorer is and you'll bring back the quantity of 80. And there's actually a lookup formula or an index match formula that you can do to do that. I have another video that actually goes through that process and I'll put it in the description. But in this video, of course, with Excel, there's many ways to do the same thing. And we're going to use Power Query to show you how to do this. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that these two range, ranges of data are tables, and they are. This one is uh, a table here. If I go under uh, this table, it's called table one, and this one is table two. So to make these into a table, all you need to do is take a range of data, make sure that there's no blank cells in between that range, and go to insert and a table. You can see this is grayed out, but if this was not a table ready, you can just press Control T and make it into a table. Now these two tables I'm going to bring into Power Query. So I'll go under data. So in data, I'll go and get go to get and transform group and click from table. And one of the telltale signs that it's a table is you get this when you click on the table, you get that in addition to getting the uh, table uh, name, you also get this contextual table tools icon. So if I clicked out here, you'll notice that it's gone. But I've clicked on this table. Whoops. If I clicked on this table, you know that it's there. So that tells you that it's a table. So let me go into data go to table. So I'm going to get uh, bring this into Power Query as one table. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see everything a little bit better. So bring this in as a table. I'm just going to close and load it as a connection. So this is the Power Query editor. Once you click on uh, get, get and transform and bring it into Power Query, you have your Power Query editor. I just want to bring in the table as a connection. I don't want to do anything else with it. So I'll click close and load and it's going to ask me where I want where I want to load it to and I don't want to create a new table here. I just want to create a connection to this table and click load and it's going to bring up the pane here which is the workbook query and you'll see table one shows up there. I need to do the same for this second table, table two, as you can see here, this is table two. Go under data, go to get and transform, click from table, and bring this also in as a connection. As the Power Query editor comes up, click close and load, and I'm going to close and load and make this a connection. All right? So this is going to be the connection that I'm going to put in there. Now I just I want to get I just want to get the quantity information here, and based on the the make and model bring me back the quantity. I can put this into another table, which I'll do here, or I can put it as a separate uh, field here. I'm going to put it as another table here so we can do some additional additions to this particular table to do that. So with these two tables, what we're going to do is we're going to merge the table. I'll click on this first table here, click, right click, and select merge. So we're going to select merge, and then another window is going to come up to ask us what tables we're merging. Since we only have two tables here, we know we're going to merge table one and table two. So I select also table two here. Table one is the first table and table two is the second table. And you'll notice that this join kind shows up. And this is going to be a, there's a couple options here, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a right outer join. The, the two probably most common kind of joins is going to be a left outer join and right outer join when you think about it. Now, a left outer join is just going to take all the records from the first table. The first one is going to be the top one and match anything from the second one. So it's going to match Ford Explorer here and give us 80. The second one is going to take all the records from the second one and just match it for the first. So we're going to choose right outer because all the records on the, cent on the second column on the second table is just these this record, Ford Explorer. So it's just going to bring back this particular uh, record. 
and it's going to try to match it with this and it bring back 80. If we choose left out of join, it's going to bring back all the records from the first and try to match with Ford Explorer and bring back uh, that particular record. So all we want to do is have one record here, right? So we're going to choose right out of join. And uh, with that, we need to select which columns we want to do our lookup. Press the control key and click on make and click on model. And we also want to click on the make and model here. So table one and table two, those are the two columns that we want to do our lookup or matching columns to bring back our data. When I click OK, it's going to ask for an, it's going to have another window that shows you the results. So we have our results here, Ford Explorer and Quantity 80, which is uh, this one right here, right? So we've got our Ford Explorer Quantity 80. And if you notice, it also brought back this other column table. If I click on table, you'll notice at the bottom it brings back Ford Explorer because that was the only record that it brought back that matched the first table. I don't really need this because this basically gave me or gave Power Query the variables to match what was available in the first column. So I don't need this anymore. Just right click it and click remove. And I'm going to put this into close and load. I'm click close and load and close and load to. So we can select where we want it. I'm going to select table, not connection, because I want to take the table to show up in a worksheet here. And I'm going to put it on the existing worksheet. I'll just put it here maybe on I2. So I'll just change this to I, maybe I1 actually, I1. So it will put it here in I1. Click load and it's going to put it there. Now you may th I think, thought, why would I need this? Because all I need to do is, if I really just had one, all I need to do is just click forward and explore, and I would have my data here, right? I don't need to really have that table. But if this was an instance where you had, let's clear this, if this was an instance where this was, this table was something that grew on a daily basis or a weekly basis and and or maybe you wanted to do multiple um, lookups the power query becomes kind of valuable so let's say we want to do multiple lookups we want to look up VW and we want to look up Jetta right now we've increased our table range because you can see that that there, there, there's this little icon down here below that indicates the range of this table has increased it's added another record now all I need to do now is go to data and click refresh and it's going to find VW Jetta 40 which is this one here right so that gave me the option of just uh, adding an extra fields here and it's gonna look it up another nice thing about using Power Query to do this is what if we had Ford and Explorer and maybe this one quantity was 100. This was the extra item that we have here. If I went under refresh all, it's going to bring it there too. So it's kind of a, just another way to do lookups uh, based on an expanding table. So this is kind of nice that it lets you do that. If we use some kind of lookup formula, as you know, lookup formulas, you can only look up one column. Use your lookup value as one column. And one way outside of that is to concatenate the column. Like you, you make an extra column here to combine forward and explore it and do that lookup to find that. But it's just another way for you to do a, a lookup using Power Query, which is a nice little feature that lets you do it. And also, as your table expands, maybe your source, your source table expands, it makes it a little bit easier if you didn't want to also show formulas. Maybe this is a file that you give to users. You don't want to show any formulas to in case someone messed up your formula and you didn't really want to hide it. All you need to do is use Power Query and tell the person they just have to go to data and refresh all and it refreshes the data for them without looking at any formulas that they could possibly uh, update or change and mess up your particular lookup scenario. So this is how you can do a two column lookup. And when you think about it, it could also be a multiple column lookup using Power Query. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.